Hello and welcome to another episode with the Toronto Dog Whisperer. Thanks so much for joining me today. This channel is all about helping you help your dog and helping yourselves in return. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 signs that your dog might have anxiety issues. This is a lot more common than people think. We're going to get right down to it. Now, keep count of how many of these symptoms your dog might be exhibiting. The more symptoms your dog has, the more likely they have more serious anxiety issues. But never fear, there's plenty of things that you and your dog can do to relieve these symptoms. Let's get to it. Number 10, whining. Does your dog whine either when you leave or in different circumstances, maybe when they go outside, maybe when they see somebody in your family, maybe when they see other dogs. Whining is one symptom that your dog might have anxiety issues. Number nine, cowering. Now this is more of a fear symptom, but if your dog cowers, either when they see other dogs or in any other circumstance, it might be an indication that they have anxiety issues. Number eight, your dog shakes uncontrollably. Shaking is a very common response to anxiety or fear or nervousness. And if your dog starts shaking, not because they're cold, but because they're put in a situation that they're uncomfortable with, it could be a sign that they're anxious. Number seven, antisocial behavior with either dogs or other people. Anxious dogs don't usually get along with other dogs and even some people. So if your dog displays antisocial behavior, it could be a sign that they're anxious. Number six, your dog runs away or tries to get away from normal situations. Again, usually happens around other dogs, but it could be other people, even inanimate objects, could be cars, intersections, anything that your dog runs away from and is trying to avoid at all costs. Now, we are getting a lot more severe when it comes to these top five anxiety symptoms. So if your dog starts exhibiting these or there's more of these top five anxiety symptoms in your dog's behavior, it's a stronger indication that they might be anxious. Number five is shutting down. Now shutting down can look like a lot of different things. Sometimes dog gets stuck. Sometimes dogs shut down in terms of like they refuse to move or other types of shutting down. Those are all signs that your dog is anxious or nervous about something maybe that they're approaching or that they're experiencing. Number four, aggression. Now, aggression is a symptom of a lot of different problems, but aggression is definitely one symptom of anxiety. The type of aggression that you want to look for that indicates anxiety is much more of they want to keep their space. There's something that's approaching them or that they're approaching that's making them anxious, nervous, or fearful, and they become aggressive as a defense mechanism. It's very common with dogs with anxiety issues, but keep in mind, aggression in and of itself isn't a problem. It's just a symptom of a problem. Number three, you don't trust your dog in all situations. Ever described your dog saying something to the effect of, oh, well, my dog is great except when, and you fill in that blank, or you make a caveat or an exception to when your dog is okay. If you don't trust your dog in every single situation, whether it's out in public or at a dog park or around other dogs or even other people, it's definitely a sign that your dog might have anxiety issues. Number two. Now this one's a little bit tougher to spot because as human beings, we tend to excuse dogs' behavior, but we also miss the behavior that they're not displaying. And this is one of those. So if your dog is exhibiting any type of abnormal behavior, meaning that they're not sniffing when they're out in a walk, maybe they're not interacting with other dogs, it could be something as simple as just not playing in an environment where they should be playful. Dogs should exhibit normal behavior that's very dog-like. So if your dog is missing these types of normal behavior, it could very well be an indication that there's a serious anxiety issue. Okay, here it is. The number one sign that your dog has anxiety issues or that they're nervous or 
fearful is if you yourself are nervous, fearful, or anxious when you're with your dog. Now, there's a lot of people out there that have anxiety issues in their day-to-day -day life. Maybe they have a bit of anxiety when it comes to work or in social situations. That's different. What I'm talking about specifically is if you're walking with your dog, let's say, or you're out in a park, or there's somebody who's coming to the door, and you become nervous or anxious because you're anticipating something bad is going to happen, and that anxiety then translates to your dog, that's definitely one of the biggest symptoms that you can identify as a person that your dog might have anxiety issues because our dogs are like a mirror. They mirror what we're feeling inside. So if you're nervous or anxious or fearful of what might happen or what your dog might do or what another dog might do to your dog, then that's a very strong sign that your dog might have anxiety issues. Here's the important thing. It is incredibly common for dogs to have anxiety issues. If you counted maybe one or two of these symptoms, it's probably very mild in terms of your dog's anxiety levels. If you're over five of these symptoms, it means that it's probably a serious case. If your dog has been exhibiting these symptoms or a lot of them for very long periods of time, don't be worried. Don't be anxious about it because there's a lot of solutions out there and there's a lot of different types of anxiety. So I'm not going to go over how you can approach each and every single one of these symptoms and solve them today. This is just an indication that your dog might have anxiety, nervousness, or fear issues, but don't worry. There's plenty of solutions out there. I've helped tons of dogs and tons of people get through their anxiety issues, so there is a lot of help out there. Don't lose hope, and most importantly, do something about it. It doesn't matter why your dog has anxiety issues. It doesn't make any difference in terms of their history or how they got to this point. What's really important is that you work with your dog and work with yourself to move forward, to solve these anxiety issues so that you and your dog can lead a much, much better life, live without all the stress that comes with anxiety, and enjoy every single moment with them. Now, if you think that I missed anything or you don't agree with my list, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think I missed in my anxiety list and what other symptoms that your dog might be exhibiting that might lead you to believe that they have anxiety issues. So till next time, if you love your dog, take them for a walk. Take care.